Is anyone out there? Can anyone hear me? But we still had to come to work on Halloween today. As you can see, we are the real Walking Dead. Now you all know that I love the Walking Dead and always wondered what it would be like to be a zombie and now I am one. It's kind of fun. And you still look pretty. I yes. still look pretty? You look yes. really pretty. Thanks, guys. You're pretty zombie. And you, check out the audience, zombie Tamara. <laughs> They're all in costume. So cute. Because it is Halloween, and Tamara loves this so much. I need to know, how are you dressing the babies, OK? Yes. Oh, my Aiden goodness. Aiden and Araya. We have so much fun on Halloween. I always have to do family Halloween costumes. Yes. So Araya is going to be the Stay Puffed. Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Oh, that's look cute. at her! Yeah, that's cute. Oh and God. Adam and I are going to oh be Ghostbusters, God. and Aiden is going to be a ghost. How but it's all oh, going to be so in fun. Cute. All yeah. going to be in fun. I like yes. to keep it fun with the kids. Yeah, no, that is really cute. Yeah, right? I love that. OK, well, since it's Halloween, who's ready for some ghoul chat? Yes. You ready? First up, according to a recent study done by the Today Show, 73% of parents surveyed agreed that when it comes to trick-or-treating, kids between the ages of 12 and 17 should call it quits. Heck no! That's what I said. No! So, fellow zombies, how old do you think is too old to be trick-or-treating? Never! Never for me, ever. That's what I say. I always say, as long as you are in costume, or you're with children, I really don't care. Well, that's because, what I'm talking about. Yeah. They need to be with, with children. children. I yes, want children. No that's me. Yeah. I'm not opening the door. To I you. don't want a 35 year old knocking on my door alone. Exactly. Well, that's kind of creepy. I'm trick or treating with Tamara this year in she the sure safe puff. Yeah. <laughs> I have this costume already. So. You do? What are you going to be, Lonnie? I don't know. I just usually, you know, I'm usually a cat, and you don't like that because I just put on a little. She paint just puts on cat ears. I want her to, you know, you just can totally to be a little bit. And she says she creative. does the little black nose. The little... She does look cute. Yeah, That's but it. okay, I might surprise you. This okay. is getting me into the Halloween spirit. Yes. Okay, so. yes. very good. This is very good. good. Now, I never went trick or treating. What? I never went. Well, I well. Me too, as a child. For multiple reasons. Obviously, my parents, you know, I was raised Pentecostal, so we didn't really do Halloween like okay. that. Right. And then um, uh, I grew up in the projects, so okay. I was scared to knock on random people's doors. Like, in my, like, back when I was a kid, like the early, like, early 90s, the end of the 80s. Yeah. Uh, 
I was trying to front for a moment. <laughs> um, like, that was the era where, like, they told you there was going to be switchblades and the bazookas. Oh, true. And they had drugs oh, yeah. and kids were having yeah. ODs. Yeah. So I was scared to go trick-or-treating. Actually, so yeah. I we had a uh, hallelujah night. Yes. So and then you got dressed Halloween. up like angels. Yes. Yeah, I did that. Wait, did. do you guys remember, after you would go trick-or-treating, first of all, if any of you guys are hardcore like me, you didn't use no little plastic pumpkins. You went with the pillowcase. <laughs> What? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you get the pillowcase. No because, way. Yes. Because you don't want to be going home because you have no more room in you your have, pumpkin. You get more candy in the Wait, pillowcase. Wait, are you going to walk around with pillowcases? No. No, no. no. You know Tamara okay, well, don't do that. Okay, well, will be carrying the pillowcase for them and they can empty it in mine. Damn. Yes? You know, how do you check the kids' treats? Yeah. You, in the morning, do you take, like, candy or, or how do you handle that? Oh, you mean, like, after they've went yeah. to the treating just and to make sure everything all? is so safe? Yeah. Oh, you mean safe? Like or... no, do you do you take candy? Like I, I meant to tell you this. Like what did you, you remember do, last honey? year? Yes. I came up to your house. Yes. And then Aiden, he gave me his his yes bowl or whatever. What I did was I took some of it. So <laughs> that's you didn't need all that reason. candy. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate I that. I steal candy because I knew he didn't need it all. Yes. yes. So I took like maybe I was like one for him, two for me, <laughs> one for him, two for me. No, that's smart. So, because well, I appreciate that. <laughs> As a kid, you get so excited that you want to eat more of the candy, but it's kind of smart for parents to kind of... I hide put, the rest of it. Yeah. To hide your it. Question. Okay. Yes. But you don't steal it from them. You don't uh, take some for yourself. I, I do that, too. Okay. I do that, too. <laughs> if it's for the rest, I always just put up, like, in a cabinet because... You know, you don't want them eating all of that because they would in, in yes. one night. Right. Yes. If they candy had a coma. Choice. Oh, yeah. It's real. Well, I cannot wait tonight to come to your house and trick or treat. Yay! That's what I can't yeah! wait for. All right? I'm excited. <laughs> so we're gonna have fun. <laughs> now, after you're done trick or treating, you probably be pretty tired. Well, if you're looking for a place to sleep, look no further than Dracula's Castle. That's right, Airbnb sponsored a contest where winners could actually spend a night in Dracula's castle. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, Transylvania. Transylvania. In Transylvania tonight. I mean, the winners will be greeted by Dracula himself. They'll have a candlelit dinner in the castle and then will be laid down in the crypt <gasps> to spend the night sleeping in velvet coffins. Wait, oh. can you look at that? that. Oh my, wait, wait, wait. Who would do that? I know you go. Would. You would? I totally would I do this. I think we both love Dracula, right? I think, talk I about think this. it could actually be really sexy. Yeah. You know who was sexy? Y'all, y'all don't remember this. Ooh. 1972 Black Dracula. Ooh, he was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if Black, Black, Black Dracula greeted you at the door, would you not want to go? Ooh, I wouldn't get in no coffin, though, unless yeah, he was in there with me. I would go, but I wouldn't sleep in the coffin. I would bring a blow-up mattress. That's that's weird. Sleep. On the floor. I'm not sleeping in a coffin. Okay, yeah. though, for real, though, let's say, they only let you, if you win, they only let you bring one other person. Yeah. Right. So, real talk, if I went, I love you, Aid. I love you, Tam. I would go only if Lonnie went. Why? Because... <laughs> Because yeah. you're busy wedding planning, so you'd be on your phone all the time. You'd be praying if something happened. That's a good thing. Lonnie would pick me up and help me get the heck out of there. That is true. <laughs> she really would. That is true. You know? Would, who would you go with? With Israel, duh. <laughs> Israel's a good protector. I don't know if I don't know. If, he's definitely not sleeping in a coffin. It's not happening. You gotta actually. You never. He'll be know. doing the combo. He'll take me out. He'll pray. It's you a whole do all the whole thing. Exactly. You do remix. <laughs> if you think about it, you never know how somebody reacts until you've actually had a scary experience yep. to see if they are there for you or if yeah. they're ghosts. I, I actually had a guy do this to me where somebody came out and scared me, and the person put me in front of them. Oh. <laughs> You guys have never had a guy do that to oh, you? Oh, use you as a no. shield. No, straight up was like, ah! And put me in front of them. I was ah, like, what the? Ah, You're supposed ah, to protect me. Is he serious? 100%. Ew. Oh, yeah. Well, she's so Weird. cute, though. That's why. That's probably That's why. That's so funny. She's so cute. You know, you know what? I'm glad you did. You know what? <laughs> okay, if you had to act in a coffin. What? You know, where, act in yeah, a coffin? Well, you had a scene. You know, you got to think about it like that. You, Would you there do was that? an acting scene. It was an acting scene, and you, you had to what, be in a guys, coffin. I don't play with, like, scary movies like that. See, I don't either. You, you have to really get in character. Yeah. I, I played a chameleon before on Nickelodeon, like, years ago. I had to play an evil chameleon. Uh-huh. No, like the animal? Like the animal that yes. changes colors. Yes, it was a kid show on Nickelodeon. I can't think of the name right now, but I had to get into character. Afterwards, I spooked myself out. Really? No way. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Can I just see your evil chameleon acting face, please? Please. please. Okay, and I scene. had to say, 
I had to say these lines. Bite you once, bite you twice. A little water, pay the price. Oh my God. I hate that. Oh, oh my God. That's scary. Right? You dropped oh your eyelid. Oh yeah. my God. I was like that though. I, there was a movie, I, I, it was a horror movie, uh -huh. and I read the script, and the script, they wrote the part just for me. Yeah. I turned it down because it was, okay, first of all, I was the first, you know, black person, so you know I got killed first, <laughs> during, you know? <laughs> But I didn't mind that. It was the way they wanted to kill me, oh. okay? The way they wanted to kill me, if I can remember, it was like something happened to me where I got chopped up. And then later on in the movie, <laughs> the, um, the star would open up the refrigerator and, see you. and my head was like this and I was like this. <laughs> That? And I was like, and I thought about it. I'm oh. like, I would have to actually shoot that scene yep. yeah. like that in a refrigerator. And I'm like, I can't, my, I'm not that experienced yeah. in acting. My brother I can't Taj, do that. my brother Taj was supposed to be in the newest version of Exorcist. <gasps> and oh. both Mama Mori and our entire family said, oh, hell. <laughs> well, no, he turned that down. You guys, a lot think about it. Thing. Most famous scary movies become somehow jinx and scary things actually happen. That's what I'm saying. That's People what, mm -hmm. lose their that lives. Culture, guys. I mean, it's scary. Yeah, yeah. they've been like, they call it like a curse, like yeah. a curse yes. hit the, the set and stuff yeah. like so that. I don't play you know? with that. That's why after we're done with this, we're gonna sage this yeah. place. Oh, okay, sure. we gonna yep. take off my tree branches. Yep. <laughs> well, if you end up surviving the night in actually Dracula's castle, you'll have to head home in the morning. So when you do, just putting this out there, keep an eye out for everyone doing the Halloween Walk of Shame. You know you've done it, don't play yourself. <laughs> if you don't know what the Halloween Walk of Shame is, it's when everyone has to go home in their costumes the next day <laughs> after making some <clears throat> questionable decisions the night before. Mm. And like, a lot of the times, a lot of people's outfits, I wanna see, do we have any sexy costumes in the audience? Oh, it's a lot of sexy costumes. Yes. Stand up if you got a sexy costume on. That, uh, All right. Oh! I'm just trying to see, Little what Red Riding Hood, if I saw you tomorrow morning at seven o'clock in the morning walking down the street, Little Red Riding Hood. I'm Mrs. Bad Ready Riding Hood. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, what's funny, thank you, sweetie. What's funny is those waffles. If you wake up next to them waffles. <laughs> Stand up, sweetie. Let me see your waffles. That is so funny. <laughs> chicken, so chicken and waffles. waffles. <laughs> They're That's chicken and waffles. They're chicken and waffles. Okay, I'm let's see you guys. Have you guys ever done the walk of shame after Halloween? Jeannie. <laughs> Can I elect myself before you <laughs> out me? I saw your face. Okay. No, okay. One Halloween. I had a little fun. It was a guy that I just thought was cute. He thought I was cute. You have some fun with the punch bowl. Things happen. So I went home with him, but all we did, I swear to God, is just kiss. That's all we, that's all we did, judgmental audience member. And so, no, we, we, we just kissed, but then I didn't want to go home because it was so late, and yeah. we didn't have Uber at the time. So I just fell asleep at his house. But the next day, like, because I had taken parts of my costume off and I borrowed, like, his pajama pants and stuff. This doesn't sound right, but I no. swear this is what happened. <laughs> you guys, I was dressed up as Wonder Woman. The one main piece of my costume that I needed to find, <laughs> I could not find anywhere. The, the bottom piece. Oh. And so I swear, I was like, dude, this you're hiding this it. This is a real questionable and story. Were I just kissing? We were where'd just kissing. Where'd your panties yeah. go? I don't know. I know. Yeah. Dude, I still think you were just day. kissing. Yes. I still think to this day he hid them on purpose. So there Why I was. Why did they come off? <laughs> so anyway, there I was. <laughs> Walking down the street with my Wonder Woman costume, and I had to wear his boxers from Target with that dog that they used from Target. Uh, Dang, I was Marie Antoinette one year. I did yeah. a costume party, and I was Marie Antoinette. I don't really know if Marie Antoinette wore outfits like this, but I was convinced <laughs> that I was just supposed to wear lingerie with a big thing of hair yeah. and birds in my hair. And I threw the party. We were done and we actually, uh, I threw the party in a hotel and I lived like two blocks from the hotel so I just figured I could walk in the morning. Well folks, I had to walk in my lingerie the next day <gasps> because I forgot in all the planning to bring another outfit. Oh, oh my God. I arrived there in my outfit. Right. So I had to walk, it was on Wall Street at the time, I lived in New York. 
Wall Street. I was walking down Wall Street <laughs> at about was it Wall Street? 9 a.m. in complete lingerie garters. <laughs> that I had birds in my hair, but I thought I was being Marie Antoinette. Were, they just thought I was a thought. Were people looking at you? I was, and you? I was walking down Wall Street. <laughs> so everybody with suits was looking at you. Like, what is happening? Again, I thought I was Marie Antoinette. <laughs> They just thought I was a thought. Wait, that's the worst part, is that you look like a walk of shame when you didn't do anything That was shameful. my outfit. Exactly. That was my outfit. Exactly. That's so funny. There's really no way... There's no way to do the walk of shame right. Like, you can't act no. embarrassed. You no. can't act like this, because then you look I, more guilty. I'm not embarrassed. You'd have had a good time. So 